We shall be reading from the first letter to the Corinthians from Apostle Paul. The first letter to the Corinthians from Apostle Paul, chapter 11 and verse 23. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you. The Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread and drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened by the Lord, that we may not be condemned with the world. When we are judged, we are chastened by the Lord, that we may not be condemned with the world. If we do not examine ourselves in the church, then the judgment of God will come into our lives, so we will not be condemned with the world. The plan will come so we can bring good fruit and a lot of fruit so we will not be condemned outside with the world. That is the gentleness and the strictness of God which guides us to everlasting life. So of course the solution, I will not take the body and blood of Christ even though it is necessary if we examine ourselves if we are not like we should be. But that is not a solution. Because for you not to take enough, so lots of times, I do not trust people who, with a light heart, enter the church and do not receive the blood and body of Christ. If they cannot prepare themselves, their hearts, their lives, how will they be found that day blameless and spotless in the presence of God? If they do not fear God now, they not tremble in the presence of God now. They not work their salvation in fear. So they can receive and take part in the communion of the body and blood of Christ. So, then, then, how will they be there that day? Of course, it is better not to take striving for the Lord to prepare you so you can receive than to receive, take part in the body and the blood of Jesus Christ without examining yourself first, because then judgment will fall upon you. It says many are sick among you and many sleep because they have not understood that you cannot play with God, but whatever man sows, this he reaps. If you sow in the flesh, you shall reap corruption. If you sow in the spirit, you shall reap everlasting life. With this, therefore, my brethren, with this deep acknowledgement in our hearts, we shall rise and stand in the presence of God. Let's repent. Now a chance will be given to us, two or three minutes, each one of us to stand in the presence of God, to repent, to condemn his or her sin, to ask for mercy, grace, help from God. So, he can be restored only by Christ, ready to take part in the communion of the body and blood of Jesus Christ. That's why I plead with you, brethren. Let's pray, each one of us, and may the elders come to find grace and mercy before the Lord, to take in blessing and not in judgment in this blessed moment in the communion of the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Let the elders come, please. And let's all pray, brethren.